let's get toxic. Okay. Let's get extremely toxic right now. Give us a wild football thing that happened over your career. Just something that's just crazy. Like you're like, whoa, like what just happened? For example. Okay. For example. I always need examples. I feel like it was on your heart. <laughs> it it seemed that Probably way. Probably <laughs> Thomas punched Chuck Clark, but um, <laughs> sucker punched him. But that, that's, was, that at, was that at practice? That was at practice. I really wasn't too crazy, even though it kind of was crazy. Oh, are we talking? To, okay. I have a lot of stories. Yeah, actually, see, now there, we go, now right, there we go. Toxic, there we go. Toxic king. My first year in the league was very toxic. Oh, uh, we love a toxic king. We Ooh, love a toxic king. Talk to us. Talk to us. So my first year, we went. I went to Jacksonville. That was after the AFC. They went to the AFC Championship. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know what to expect. That was your first year? That was my, well, I didn't play that year. I, I got drafted to that team. So. The year after they won. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was, the next year was supposed to be the Super Bowl year. And just, when you get, for me, when I got there, it was more so, I'm young. I'm, I'm childish. Uh, I'm impressed by the stuff or whatever's going on. So I'm just. It's a lot of veterans uh, in Jacksonville, but if you know, after that year, maybe like two years later, everybody was gone. Like yeah. all the stars, all the all the players was gone. And just when I first got there, it was times where this might be like OTAs, the D line would be beefing sometimes with like the corners, and it'd be like, like real beef. Yeah, like. I'm not going to say the whole D-line was beefing with the whole, you know, DB room, but, like, maybe a specific D-lineman in a specific corner going back and forth because it's like they had a really good defense, Saxonville, mm -hmm. and it's like the linemen are like, we getting all these picks and takeaways because we getting to the quarterback. And the corners are like, y'all getting these sacks because we covering everybody. So the question is, like, who's really – is it the D-line and making this defense good or the DBs? I've seen that. I've seen... Oh, that was, that's toxic right there now, y'all. Nah, that was... Wow, we usually just be like, you know, we working together. <laughs> nah, it was, it, was, it was like, nah, we, I'm out here getting these... Y'all did... That was A.J. Bowie and Jalen Ramsey, though. It was tough. That was... They, that y'all had... The, right. that D line right. was good, too, exactly. though. It was. It was. Y'all really was just... It's just yeah, rushing yeah, coverage working we together. We had Calais, Malik, uh... Um, Yannick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, was it toxic enough that they would like I don't get to stop squabble. covering or they oh, would no, stop trying right. to rush the pass? They're like, all right, you're so good at covering. What happens when we don't rush? Man, honestly, like my rookie year, that it was just a roller coaster and it just went downhill. And I never, never really found out who was the reason we was making these plays because <laughs> Why are it kind of, it kind of got. I'm it laughing kinda, that y'all really trying to figure that. It kind of, it kind of got ugly my my year, but the year before, like they was really, they was. No, they everybody hard. remember that defense because yeah, it was. That was defense. They should have gone to the Super Bowl. Yeah, Miles Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah Miles. You had Miles Telvin Smith. Smith. You had so many, so many people. I remember two people arguing over who uses the uh, who uses the handicap shower. Because the handicap shower always had the little seat that you can like shower in, you can take the seat. Yeah. And like a player claimed that this is my shower. And so when somebody else used it, it was a problem. Oh. Oh, they couldn't use it at all. At least not when he wanted to use it. <laughs> there, there's some people that have Sis used to be like that, I'm pretty sure. So I remember seeing but not that. like that. I it was that big of a deal. It was crazy. I enjoyed it though, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I was out. I didn't really have a big role on the team my rookie year, so I'm like, this is what the NFL is? Okay. Entertaining. Very entertaining. We're gonna pause briefly to shout out our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the number one ticketing platform for all your top events, whether it's going to games, concerts, and for you, we have a special deal. If you're a first time customer on SeatGeek, use the code punchline, one word, punch line for $20 off your first order. I'm going to be hitting NCAA March Madness games, MLB all summer, and then when football is back in the fall. So use the code punchline. You'll get $20 off your first order. You can also check out the app where in the app, they'll show you 
Are you getting a good deal or a bad deal? So as NFL free agency is picking up, you'll know if you're scoring the best tickets the way that the top GMs are scoring the top free agents. So use the code punchline on SeatGeek. Now back to the action. We love hearing how, what led up to the decision to getting in the league as far as draft day. How was draft day leading up to it? Where did you think you were going to go? How did things go for you? How did that whole process go? Uh, I had no idea where I was going to go or when. Um, I was just hoping it was early. I actually had like a little Nike contract, and depending on where you get drafted, depending on what you got. So I was just like, put me in this around this range so I can get, you know, this amount of money slash clothes and stuff. But other than that. Do you remember? How does that, how does, what were the, how does that work? First Round, second round. Like first fifteen was something crazy. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not going first fifteen. Then the back half of the first half was solid. There was a chance. It it was huh. I, I was like, it's probably not a chance. But if it happened, crazier things have happened. Mm -hmm. Now the second round, I was like, that's more realistic. Third round for sure, I figured. But so we got late second. And I was like, well, I think I was like sixty one or sixty three or something like that. And I was just like, probably a few more picks left in the second. But I was like, even if I'm the last pick in the second, I could say I was second round, you know, so. What did you do for the draft? Uh, I watched it at the crib. Did you have like a little party or no? I had family over. I would say it wasn't really a party. It may be a party for them. It wasn't much of a party for me. Were you like watching the TV like, oh, this could be. You didn't have a, a hunch for any team. Mm -mm. I had an idea. I said, maybe I'll go to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Yeah. And they actually picked, who they picked before me? The pick before I got picked to Jacksonville, they picked James Washington. Mm. Mm. So when it was coming up, I was like, mm. okay, they, I had a good relationship with them, talking to them. James Washington. My phone rung, and I thought it was them, but it, I saw the 904. So I was like, all right, this is cool, too. <laughs> What did they what did they say on your call? They decided to have me. You know, I was I was I was emotional, but I couldn't cry, but I was trying to cry. <laughs> you were trying to cry. Yeah, because I, I never had like tears of joy, you know. So I wanted this to be the moment and I was almost there. 